Was year 2023 as good as Acadiana Animal Aids? I'm Kayla Lamano, your culture and community in-depth reporter in Lafayette Parish, where fostering is on the rise. <laughs> Twenty twenty three was a great year for this local animal shelter because of you. I'm KATC's Kayla Lamano here in Karen Crow, where Acadiana Animal Aid is celebrating its most successful year yet. A few days into the new year, Acadiana Animal Aid, a shelter for cats and dogs in Karen Crow, shared on Facebook that in 2023, the shelter's volunteer hours and foster families increased significantly from past years, with 260 foster families and 192 volunteers who put in over 7,000 hours of work. We still have our goals set very high. We want to surpass all those adoption numbers. I'd love to double my foster families and double my volunteer hours. But uh, what I always say is I also would love to be out of a job. And that takes the community to do that. In this post, no, the shelter celebrated some of its most dedicated foster volunteers, including Cheyenne Bede, who cared for 43 dogs throughout the year, including nursing moms and young litters. I was never without a puppy or a group of puppies. She shares what makes fostering such a special and worthwhile experience. I just love it. It's great. It's like you get all the fun without the responsibility of it. You get to play with puppies, cuddle with them, take them outside, take them on little adventures, and then they find their family and you get that little memory with them. Acadiana Animal Aid says they try to make the experience as easy and enjoyable as possible for foster volunteers. We were just volunteering and then, you know, all of a sudden we were like, hey, we'd like to foster. And my first time was great. Uh, we had little Olivia. She was so sweet. Um, they provide, you guys provided with us the food, the leash, the collar. Um, we even had medicine we had to come pick up um, during one of the days that covered everything that we gave to her. It was really easy and everything was provided for us. It was really fun. Getting involved at Acadiana Animal Aid could mean volunteering, fostering, adopting, or donating. If you're interested in volunteering, fostering, or adopting, these numbers can grow even more in the year to come. To find out more ways you can help, visit KATC.com. In Lafayette Parish, I'm Kayla Lamano, KATC TV3.